Okay, let's have another go at some more complicated questions, like this one over here. Question four. We have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles, and they're all the same value, okay? But we know that the sum of them have to make a full revolution, which is 360 degrees. Okay, so when you have uh, 360 degrees is what we call a revolution, okay? So, if I have eight equal parts in this revolution, I can actually just divide this by eight, and try not to use your calculator with these type of questions. Eight can go into 36 four times, because eight times four is 32, remainder four, eight can go into 45 times. So the value of x is 45 degrees. Now hopefully you can see um, by observation that this is 90, this is 90, this is 90, and this is 90. And each of these corners have been split in half, half of 90 is 45 degrees, okay? Right, let's have a go at question five. We have 90 degrees here, we have another 90 degrees there, and the sum of all of them would have to make one revolution, which is 360 degrees. All right, where should we start? I'm gonna start with the T, because the 35 and the T make 90 degrees. All right, so that means T would have to be 90 take away 35, which is 55 degrees. Okay, that's a good start. Then I'm going to solve for u. Now, u and t are on this straight line here. Okay, and remember the rules for a straight line. All the angles must add up to 180 degrees. So that means u plus t are supplementary. 180 take away 55 is equal to u. u is going to be 125 degrees. Okay, next I have one more to go and it's s. And I could say that s is on a straight line with a 90 and the 35. So the 90, the S, and the 35, they all have to add up to 180. I could do it that way. Or I could recognize that S and 35 are also on this 90 degree angle. All right. I'm going to go ahead and say that S and 35 are on 90 degrees. So if I do 90 take away 35, I will get S, which is 55 degrees. Okay. Now, if we've done this correctly, and you should always check if you've done it correctly, then all the angles together should add up to 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and just check that they do. I've got 90. I've got 55. I've got 35. Another 55. And a 125. Okay. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 20. 0 down, 2 up. 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 plus 5 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19, 19 plus 5 is 24, 24 plus 2 is 26, and the 2 and the 1 makes a 3. We have a perfect revolution. We've done it correctly. Okay, harder questions coming.